Hello sweet friends, we got another flow today. So for this sequence, I would recommend having a couple blocks or block-like items handy so that you can close the gap between the ground and your hands in some of the poses we'll be taking. Otherwise, the playlist is down below. You can hit go on that and we'll get started. So for today, let's begin in a seat so you can come cross-legged or onto your shins, whatever makes the most sense for you. And as always, take these first few moments to settle in, feel grounded. Which often involves a, a softening or a shutting of the eyes. If that feels, you know, sweet and safe to do in this moment. A couple of adjustments through your physical body. You can, you know, roll out your neck, your shoulders. And it's been described as kind of fiddling with the dials on a radio. You turn down consciously the volume of any noise or drama or stories or anything outside of this space for now. And then you tune into the present moment. It's like static and static and noise and then we land right here. Things are very simple, very clear. And then we turn up our attention. We start to you know, become intimately involved with the sensations in our body. The thoughts that might be moving through our experience. there's anything that feels tense or tender and that could be a body thing or an emotional thing too. So this first little bit is just all about observing. Watching this ever present current of change unfold. And then somewhere in that space, begin to find and deeply cultivate your breath. following and watching as it oscillates through this physical form. As though it's illuminating our bodies from the inside to the outside. illuminating the spaces that you know, don't often get seen or felt or heard. And whatever presents itself through this practice, know that it's exactly where it needs to be. You are exactly where you need to be. So let's meet with a full breath in, like you're gathering Anything and everything that feels heavy, that convinces you otherwise, that, you know, that things are just that way, heavy, hard, dense. And then exhale, you might even sound out your exhale. 
to soften a bit around the edges and remind ourselves that that is our natural state is with ease. Go again, take a deep breath in. Pause and lighten around the edges of your skin. Take one more sip of air. And then exhale. Let your breath go. And we'll do one more just like that. Fully inflate, fill up your belly, fill up your ribs, fill up to the crown of your head. And then exhale, really fully let it go. Let's come on forward onto hands and knees into a tabletop position. And of course, today and always, you do you, I'll make suggestions, but whatever feels the most nourishing, nurturing for your body is what you'll try to land in. So stack your shoulders over your wrists and stack your hip bones over your kneecaps and we'll just start to move the spine. Come back into the rhythmic quality of your breath as you inhale, you can drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your chest, lift your eyes. And then as you exhale, simply reversing, root your tail down, round out the rest of your spine, spread your shoulder blades and look towards the earth or towards your navel. And just wave and awaken up and along the spinal cord now as you breathe. Inhale moves you one way, exhale moves you the other way. It's also really nice to linger in one of the shapes, extension or flexion and just land and take a few deep breaths in and a few deep breaths out. So you can feel the shape with a little bit of um, the quality of the inhalation and a little bit of the quality of the exhalation. So that's expansion, lightness as you breathe in, like a sense of broadening. And then with the exhale, there's the softening, the surrender. And of course, you can scrape your ribs to the side and to the earth, swivel through the hips, the shoulders, the neck, as much as there is space for that. As you wave your hips around, you start to feel a little bit of space up along the ribs, the side waist, obliques, low back. So whatever it is that you need to feel, feel, breathe, move, find stillness, whatever keeps you breathing and, and especially keeps you here. Let's land on forward into our tabletop position. Step your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Tuck your chin to the back of your neck. It's nice and long. And you can hug your ribs in, even squeeze your biceps towards one another. And then keeping your toe mound down, slide your right leg straight backwards. So the ball mound of your right foot is down to earth crown of your head is still reaching forward and begin to rock your weight forwards and backwards. So when you lean forward, you start to feel this little grip of the navel in towards the spine. You start to feel your stabilizers uh, start to clean in. And then as you lean backwards, a little bit of length through the back of the leg, the calf, even maybe the hamstring. So just rock forwards and back like that a few times to get a sense of that sensation. And then the next time, no rush, you lean forward, stay, regrip your navel towards your spine and float your right leg up off of the ground now. So toes still point down, inner thighs squeeze towards one another and heel roughly in line with the hip. Try not to lift with your lower back, but rather lift with the back of your leg. Keep squeezing your inner thighs, lean more weight into your right hand and then stretch your left fingertips straight forward, chin stays in. A long line through tailbone, through heart, through crown of head with all of the organic curves of your spine in place. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, curl your elbow point to your knee point to round out your spine, hollow your navel inwards. Keep leaning into your right hand, right fingertips. Go again, lean or reach forward and back as you take your breath in. And then as you exhale, go again, elbow point to knee point, and claw down into your right fingertips as you tuck your chin. One more time, fingertips through the left hand, reach forward, right heel back, take a deep inhale breath. 
And then this time as you exhale, keep your left toes tucked, land your left hand down, hover your left knee, and then stretch up and back to three-legged downward facing dog. So right heel goes up high, let your head go heavy, bend at your knee. So right knee points up towards the ceiling, heel towards the bum, let your head fall, and then take three big orbits of your right knee in the sky. Stirring the leg from the connection of the thigh bone and the hip socket. And when you find, you know, that one or those sticky bits that you want to avoid, see if you can really linger into them, chew slowly, and then switch directions, keep breathing. Keep pressing down and forward with your arms, with your hands, fingertips. Okay, let's stretch that right leg long, toes high, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose, round out your upper spine. Stretch your heart forward, stretch your right toes back, high plank pose, take a deep inhale breath. And then as you exhale, knees go down, child's pose. Let your arms straight back behind you, thighs close towards one another, and then maybe forehead straight down towards the ground. So you start to feel your upper back widen. You can let your chin tuck in and just regather your breath. All right, as you feel ready, bring your fingertips back forward, round your spine forward, hands and knees, tabletop position. Just take a moment to spin your fingertips back towards your kneecaps. Crown of your head stretches forward, tuck your chin, ribs hug in, and then maybe there's space for you to lean back so that the fronts of your forearms get a little bit of your breath. They do so much work, so you should be feeling something. All right, so you place your fingertips forward and keeping your inner thighs engaged towards one another, keeping the stability through your shoulder girdle, start to slide your left toe straight backwards. So ball mount of your foot stays down, claw down into your fingertips, and then just moving on the breath as you inhale, leaning forward, making sure that your head's not dropping, your shoulders aren't collapsing. And then as you exhale, leaning backwards, so your left calf starts to feel it, hamstrings. And just go like that a few exchanges of your breath as you lean forward you feel the core you feel your strength and then as you exhale you lean back you feel the back of your leg a couple more as you breathe and the next time you lean forward claw down into your fingertips try not to arch your lower back as you lift your left heel up off of the ground toes up off of the ground Press down into your hands, squeeze your forearms. Then keep all of this, keep squeezing inner thighs and stretch your right fingertips forward. Your lower back will likely want to lift your leg up higher, but I'm less interested in how high your leg is. I'm interested in if you have the connection of your front body. So it's like your ribs are hugging towards your hip bones. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, right elbow point to left knee point, can you lean a little bit more into your left hand? Then go again, reach forward through the right, reach back through the left, core engaged, chin in. And then as you exhale, curl in, elbow point to knee point. Last time for the stretch, reach your right arm forward, reach your left heel back, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, right hand lands down, right toes are tucked, right knee lifts, three-legged downward facing dog, please. So stretch your hips up high, reach your left heel high, let your head go heavy for your breath in. And then as you exhale, bend into your knee, roll your thigh open, but try to keep your ribs in, try to keep your shoulders level. And we'll start to take those circles with the left knee in the sky. Stir your thigh bone into your hip socket. Go slow so you can feel it all. Press down and forward with your hands, relax your neck. And as you stay breathing, reverse directions.
Stay active, rooted down through the palms of your hands and fingertips. We'll reach the left heel up high. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, curl knee to nose, round out. High plank on the in breath. And knees down, child's pose. This time bring your knees wide. Keep your arms out ahead of you and let your forehead land down towards the ground. Let your arms, fingertips relax, go soft. Stay for one deep breath in. And give it back with a sigh. Okay, round forward onto your hands and your knees, please. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Let's rise up onto the tippy toes. Look forward, take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring your feet to meet your hands at the top of your mat. You can step or walk or fly. When you do arrive, halfway lift your spine, so get long through the backbone, tail through heart, through crown. And then as you exhale forward fold, you can bend your knees as much as you need to let your head drop heavy. Go again like that, hands to shins or from your fingertips, halfway lift, breathe in. And breathing out, forward folding, head goes heavy. Let's do one more. Halfway lift on the in breath, find the rhythm. And as you exhale, forward fold, drop your head, arms go a little bit heavier. Okay, lean into your heels. Use your legs to lift your spine so there's no pressure into the lower back as you press down, reach forward and skyward. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, hands through heart and down by your sides. Take a full inhale breath, shoulders on your back, chin towards your heart. And as you exhale, connect your palms to touch in front of your chest. Keep the palms connected, reach up, look up, take an inhale. And as you exhale, thumbs through heart, hinge and fold. Hollow out your navel, you can bend your knees a lot. Halfway lift, long breath in, long spine. And as you exhale, plant your palms down, step back to high plank pose, right foot, then left foot. In your high plank, squeeze your inner thighs, root your tailbone back, lean forward over your fingertips, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, either from knees or from toes, lower all the way down to the ground. Once you land onto your belly, untuck your toes. Keep your hands where they are. You might slide them a little bit further down so that they frame out like more the ribs. Squeeze elbows towards one another, and then with your chin in, rise your heart up. Cobra pose, Buddhangasana, deep inhale breath. And as you exhale, heart down to earth. Go again, lifting your chest. Use your back strength to lift your front. And as you exhale, lay on down, heart to earth. One more time, engage your back body, lift your chest forward and up, take a breath in, and then stay lifted, float your palms, even if it's just like a millimeter. Inhale all the way. And then as you exhale, land your palms, child's pose, tuck your toes. From child's pose, come on forward, high plank, pick up your knees, firm up your thighs. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, hips go back. Please reach your right heel up high. Take a deep breath in. Bend your knee and roll your thigh open as you exhale, heel to bum, head goes heavy. Spike up onto your left tippy toes. Vacuum your navel in towards your spine and reach your right heel up high. Take a breath in. With your exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose. Claw into your right fingertips and place your right foot between your thumbs. Front knee over front heel, bring your back knee down towards the ground. Inner thighs engage to the midline and we rise to the high low lunge. Take a breath in. And stay for your breath out. You can soften from the base of your skull to the base of your heart. 
take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands touch down. We'll lift your back knee and step forward to fold. When you arrive at the top of your mat, halfway lift, full breath in. And as you exhale forward, fold yourself, head heavy. Root into your heels, use your legs to lift you, reach forward and up as you inhale the breath. And as you exhale, hands through heart center and down by your sides, breathing in. Thumbs to heart as you breathe out. Reach up, look up, inhale. Hinge forward to fold as you exhale. Lengthen halfway, deep breath in. As you breathe out, plant your palms, step back high plank, left foot, then right foot. Come onto your tippy toes, take a deep breath in, squeeze your thighs, and from knees or toes, lower all the way down to earth. Untuck your toes, lift your chest, cobra, breathe in, use your back body. Stay lifted as you exhale, float your palms. Keep your neck soft, take a deep breath in. Land your hands, child's pose, tuck your toes. Ripple forward, high plank, breathing in. And downward facing dog, breathe out. Left heel high on the inhale. Bend your knees, stack your hip, exhale. Relax your neck, rise up onto the ball of your right foot, bend your left toes to the sky, take an inhale breath. And as you exhale, curl your knee in towards your nose and place left foot between your thumbs, back knee comes down. Both arms rise up towards the sky, low lying on your inhale breath. And stay in subtle, relax your shoulders down your back, tuck your chin and press your skull backwards. Breathing. Take a full inhale. And with your exhale, hands come down, right foot steps forward, and we fold. Lengthening, breathe in. And breathe out to fold in, head drops. Lean into your heels, stretch your fingertips forward and up, take a breath in. And as you exhale, hands through heart center, hand down by your sides. Breathe in. Hands connect in front of the heart, breathe out. Reach to the sky on your in-breath. And as you exhale, hinge and fold. Lengthen halfway as we inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms, high plank pose. You can step back or hop back. We'll cycle half or all the way. So chaturanga to up dog or cobra pose. As you breathe in and as you breathe out drag your hips up and back downward facing dog right heel reaches up high take a deep breath in bend your knees stack your hip as you exhale rise high onto the balls at the ball of your left foot reach your right toes high breathing in and as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose and place right foot between your thumbs. Back knee comes down. Both arms rise up. Take a breath in. This time as you exhale, stay and have to bend your arms. Hug your ribs in. Press your skull backwards. So there's an engagement through your biceps. Stretch your fingers wide. Draw your shoulder blades softly towards one another behind your heart like you're trying to lift it forward. Regather your arms up, look up, breathing in. As you exhale, hands come down, back foot steps forward, we fold. Find space, inhale. Exhale, forward folding. Root down, rise up, reach up, take an inhale breath. As you exhale, thumbs through the heart, hands down by your sides, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Hands to sky, gaze up, breathe in. Hinge and fold, breathe out. 
lengthening on the in-breath. Breathing out, step back or hop back, vinyasa, chaturanga, up dog. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Left heel reaches to the sky on the in-breath. Bend your knees, stack your hip as you exhale. Keep your neck relaxed, rise onto the ball of your right foot, reach your left toes high, take an inhale here. And as you exhale, bring your knee to your nose and place your left foot between your thumbs, back knee down. Arms rise up, low lunge, inhaling. And again, as you exhale, cactus bend your arms, engage your biceps, curl your heart up. Breathe where you need it. Soften what you can. Next inhale, arms rise. And next exhale, hands down, step forward and hold. Lengthen halfway, deep breath in. Breathe out to fold in. Press down, rise up, inhale fully. Right away as you exhale, hinge forward to fold. Lengthen, halfway lift, full breath in. Exhaling, high plank to low plank. Up dog to the downward facing dog. Right heel high, please breathe in. Bend your knees, stack your hip, breathing out. Rise up through the left foot, reach your right toes higher, straighten the leg, inhale. And as you exhale, curl in, knee to nose, placing right foot between the thumbs. Back knee down, both arms rise, full breath in. As you exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms. Now stay for your inhalation. As you exhale, slowly start to shift your hips back as you gather your arms forward towards the half splits. And if it's wobbly and wavering, you're doing it. Keep your chest lifted. On your next inhale, re-bend your front knee, recactus your arms, re-lift your chest, arrow out through the front body. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly shift your hips back, gather your arms forward just to hover. Again, cactus bend the arms, curl your chest up, take a full breath in. And slowly, slowly, as you exhale, hips shift back, bowing towards Ardha Hanumanasana. Okay, now, as you inhale, bend your front knee, lift your back knee, high crescent lunge, cactus arms, squeeze, squeeze inner thighs, lift your chest up, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, gather your arms forward, shift your weight into your right foot, and maybe possibly hover left toes off of the ground. Fingertips, of course, can come down to the earth. Tuck your chin, lift your left leg from the strength of your glute and your hamstring. Take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, dig down into your right heel, drive your left knee up into your chest as you reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Your full inhale here. And then slowly, hands come to heart as your left foot steps down to the ground. Inhale all the way. And exhale. Plug into your feet. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. Hinge and fold as you exhale. Lengthen on the in-breath. Exhaling, bend your knees, plant your hands, hop or step back to cycle through, elbows graze the sides. Lifting the chest, front body wide open, engage your thighs. And then from your navel, pull back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. And let it go with a sigh. Left heel up high, take a deep breath in. Bending the knee, rolling the thigh up and open, head super heavy. Rise up onto the ball of your right foot, straighten left leg, toes to the ceiling, breathing in. And as you exhale, curl in, knee to nose, place left foot between your thumbs. Bring right knee down towards the ground. 
Hugging your inner thighs, rise up to the low lunge, full breath in. Cactus your arms as you exhale. Stay for the in breath. As you exhale, shift your hips back, slowly, slowly peel your fingertips forward towards the half splits, but you feel your legs working for you. And then re-bend your elbows, re-lift your chest, take a breath in. And as you exhale slowly, shift hips back, reach arms forward, heart forward. One more just like this. Cactus, bend your arms, curl your chest up, root your tail down, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, shift hips back, curl left toes up. Okay, high crescent lunge with the cactus arms, bend your front knee, lift your back knee, air out through your front body, keep engaging through your inner thighs. And as you exhale, gather your arms forward, lean your heart forward and float, hover, right toes up off of the ground. And again, your hands can come down to the earth or to blocks or to your leg. Stay breathing as you are, take a full breath in here. And then as you ex exhale, dig down into your left heel, drive your right knee up into your chest as you reach your arms up, take a breath in. Slowly, slowly as you exhale, hands come to the heart as your right foot steps down to earth. Plug it in, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Root into your feet. Reach your arms up, look up, deep breath in. Hinge and fold, full breath out. Lengthen on your in-breath. As you exhale, bend knees, plant hands, cycle through or skip it. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Always optional, whatever keeps you breathing. And when you land in your downward facing dog, please take a deep breath in. And a full clearing. Right heel high, deep inhale. Bend your knee, stack your hip, exhaling. Spike up onto the ball of your left foot, reach your right toes high, take a deep breath in. This time, as you exhale, right knee crosses to your left armpit. Look right between your thumbs, stay, or spin to the inside edge of your left foot as you slide your right leg along the earth to the left and peel your left arm up towards the sky or up and overhead. Spin your right bicep forward. Keep pressing down through your right palm of hand. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, unwind back into your three-legged downward facing dog. Right heel reaches, full breath in. And as you exhale, curl in, knee to nose, and place right foot between your thumbs. Back knee down, and both arms rise. Low lunge, breathe in. And as you exhale, cactus your arms. Stay for the in breath. Towards your half splits, as you exhale, toes curl up, hips go back, fingertips reach forward. Let's bend the front knee. Lift the back knee, cactus bend your arms, take a full breath in, we'll add on as you exhale, straighten your front leg and connect your forearms in front of you, palms facing your face. Go again into the cactus arms, scoop your heart skyward as you engage through your inner thighs. And then as you exhale, press your front leg straight as you press your forearms towards one another. Go one more time, bend into your front knee, cactus bend your arms, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, connect your forearms, straighten your front leg. Connect your palms, reach your arms straight out towards the sky, take a full inhale here. Now as you exhale, start to carve your right hip crease back, micro bend into your right knee as you hinge forward to fold forward over your right leg. The pyramid pose, hands on something might be handy. So if you have blocks or books or anything that will make this feel a little bit more supportive, go for it. And then we have options. We can be high on the ball of the back foot. We can be on the heel of our front foot. We can squeeze in our thighs. We can micro bend either of the knees. 
Let's take something like a halfway lift as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, fold yourself in, make the sound shh. Go again, halfway lift, full breath in. And as you exhale, fold in, go shh. One more time, finding length, full inhale breath. And as you exhale, fold, go shh. Plant your left palm flat towards the ground. Spin all 10 of your toes towards the right side for the kicks down side plank pose. Right arm goes up high. Take a full breath in. And then keep the legs as you exhale. Lift your hips even like a millimeter higher as you slow motion swim your right arm up and overhead, bicep by the ear. One more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, land your right hand down. Turn all 10 toes towards the wide edge of your mat, so the left side of your mat. Parallel off your feet, lengthen your spine like a halfway lift. We breathe in and breathing out, fold in. Let's root down into the feet. Use your legs to lift your spine, reach wide and then up. Take a full inhale breath. And then as you exhale, we'll wrap the right arm underneath of the left arm, maybe once and maybe twice for the eagle arms. Align your elbows with your shoulders, tuck your chin in, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you can bend your knees quite generously as you hinge forward to fold forward. You can tuck your chin, let your face drop into your biceps, even a little sway side to side should feel pretty good. Can you let your head drop even just the tiniest bit heavier? Stay for one more full breath in. And release your exhale, go. All right, unravel your arms, fingertips touch the earth, lengthen your spine, deep, full breath in. And finally, as you exhale, recrawl your hands forward, step your weight into your right foot and float up your left toes. Squeeze, squeeze inner thighs, take a full breath in. Float your palms towards your heart, full breath out, head in line with hips. Take a deep inhale breath. Curl left knee in towards your chest as you root into your right heel, press down, rise up, reach up, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, hands to heart, left foot down. Feel what you feel, take a deep breath in. And let it go. Okay, let's take a moment, reach your arms to the sky, look up, breathe in. And then as you exhale, just slow, lazy like hinge and drape forward. We'll take a forward fold of your choice. Um, Pada Angustasana, piece fingers around your big toes. Feet can come to a hip width distance or a little bit wider if that's more spacious for you. Bend your knees as much as you need so that you can feel your belly on your thighs. And then head goes really heavy and sometimes it takes quite a bit of conscious thought to let the weight of your skull go. Becoming aware of where there's a gripping, where there doesn't need to be. And of course, any other hand variation works great. Palms of hands under soles of feet at the base of your skull, interlaced at the base of your spine. Let this be a moment for nurturing and pausing, receiving, landing. Right, wherever you're at, take one more deep breath in. If you have your toes, halfway lift your spine. Take a breath in. And exhale, fold in just a tiny bit deeper. Okay, 
Release your hands from whatever expression they're in. Land your fingertips down. Let's do another halfway lift to lengthen. Maybe a sound with your sigh. Ha. Root into the heels, lean backwards to reach your fingertips forward and up. Look up, take a deep breath in. Right away, hinging forward to fold. Halfway lift, find space. And as you exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back high plank to low plank. Up dog, air out your front body to the downward facing dog. And we'll reach the left heel up high, take a full breath in. Bend the knee, roll the thigh up and open as you exhale, head super heavy. Rising onto the ball of your right foot, engage the thigh and reach your left heel to the sky, take a breath in. This time as you exhale, right knee crosses your body, or left knee rather, crosses to your Right elbow, look right between your thumbs, press down and towards the ground. Spin to the inside edge of your right foot and slide your left leg long along the floorboards as you peel right arm up high to the sky, lift your hips. Stay for the breath in. And as you exhale, unwind, three-legged downward facing dog, left heel up high. Stay for the inhale. And as you exhale, curl knee to nose and we'll place left foot between the thumbs. Back knee down towards the ground. Arms rise up towards the sky, take a breath in. Cactus your arms as you exhale. Stay on the in-breath. And as you exhale, hips shift backwards, arms gather forward, left toes to the sky. High crescent lunge on your in-breath, bend your front knee, lift your back knee, lift up your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, take a breath in. As you exhale, straighten your front leg, connect your forearms, palms face your face. And then go again, bend your front knee, lift up your chest, take a deep breath in, cactus arms. As you exhale, front leg goes straight and forearms connect. One more time to bend front knee, lift up chest, full breath in. And as you exhale, forearms connect, palms face your face. Let's press the palms together, stretch your arms straight skyward, take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, left hip crease draws back as you fold yourself forward. And you can micro bend into your left knee, you can place your hands onto something or other. And you can come onto your left heel or ball of your right foot or sole of your right foot, bend either knee and it'll offer you a different experience. But keep squeezing your inner thighs towards one another. Think about drawing your right hip or left hip crease back. And then let's take something wherever you've landed like a halfway lift, reach the crown of your head forward, breathing in. And then breathe out, fold in, go. Lengthen, inhale. Hold deeply, go. One more time, long breath in, long spine. And as you exhale, fold, go. Place your right palm flat to the ground. Turn all 10 toes towards the left, spinning on your feet. So the right hand is pressing forward and down, left big toe mound is plugging into the earth and the left arm goes high. We'll stay for the breath in. And then slow as you can go, as you exhale, reach your left hip crease back and reach your left fingertips forward. Bicep by the ear, your whole left side gets a little bit longer. Take one more deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll place the left hand down to the instep of the left foot, crawl your fingers, turn your toes through to the wide edge of your mat. Parallel your feet, lengthen your spine, take a breath in. And breathe out, fold in. Arms go wide, use your legs to lift you up. Take an inhale breath. <laughs> and then as you exhale, wrap your left arm underneath of your right arm, maybe once. Or maybe it's twice for the eagle arms. Lift up your elbows, take a full breath in. 
And then as you exhale, hinge at your hip bones to forward fold your way down. You can bend your knees a lot here. You'd rather bent knees than a bent spine. And you can relax the weight of your skull more than you think you can. Take a few moments to you know, just linger in the space of deepest tension. Take one more full inhale. And one full exhale breath. Unravel your arms, fingertips touch the earth, lengthen breathing in. And as you exhale, re-pivot forward towards your left foot. We'll float up the right toes, inner thigh squeezing. Take your inhale breath. And then as you exhale, keep the right leg hovering. Float your palms in front of your heart space. Warrior three, variation for an inhale breath. And then as you exhale, dig down into your left heel. Rise up, draw your right knee up into your chest. Reach your arms up to breathe in. And then as you exhale, hands rest down or to your heart as your right foot lands towards the earth. Take a full breath in. And from here, allow your arms to rest down by your sides, Tadasana. Just stand there, just feel what you feel. Let's root down into the feet, reach your arms forward and up, take a full breath in. Slow motion as you exhale, hinge and forward fold. You halfway lift and lengthen on the in breath. As you exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back high plank to low plank, up dog to down dog. And from your dog pose, rise high up onto the ball mounds of your feet. Look forward, take a breath in. And as you exhale, you can hop or sit up through to seated and lay all the way down onto your backs. So from your back body, we'll get a little bit deeper into the spine. So bend your knees, place the soles of your feet down to the ground and reach towards your heels just until you can kind of barely graze them with your fingertip. And then the movement looks like this. As you inhale, you reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. As you lift your hips up off of the ground, you'll feel your shoulder blades get heavier as you stretch your arms even all the way up and over your head. And then as you exhale, try to drop your hips down towards the ground first so that you get the sweet opening through your front body, through the diaphragm and then iron the rest of your spine down towards the earth. As you're doing this, the arms are coming down by your side. So we'll do that again as you inhale, lift up your hips, lift your arms up towards the ceiling, and then all the way up and overhead. And then as you exhale, simply reverse that, dropping the hips and then ironing the rest of your spine down towards the ground as your arms rest. And keep moving like that, lift hips, the fingertips, like a massage between your shoulder blades as you stretch your arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly lay your spine back down towards the ground as you let your arms rest down by your sides. We'll go a few more cycles like that. Take your time, your own rhythm, your own pace. And then you can keep with the flow. I find that you get a different experience through each cycle. Or if you'd like to linger, next time your hips are lifted, keep them there and let your arms rest down by your sides. From there, interlace your fingertips to the space beneath your hamstrings. And then one at a time, carve your shoulder blades down deeper towards one another, like you're really digging them through something dense. Press into the backs of your arms. Press into the soles of your feet. Try not to bend too deeply at the low of your back, but use the power of your legs to lift your heart skyward. Take one more deep breath in wherever you are flowing or in stillness. 
And then as you exhale, if you have your fingers tangled, untangle them and then re-iron your spine down towards the ground. We'll land here together, knees fall in, hands onto the belly. A moment to feel. Let's place the left foot down towards the ground, draw your right knee up into your chest. Give it a little squeeze, knee up towards your armpit maybe. And then crossing your right ankle over top of your left thigh, you can stay right here. Or take a hold of your left um, hamstring or left shin bones if you have a little bit more space today. You keep your right toes curled back towards your shin bone, upper back nice and wide. Let your left heel fall towards your left bum so that this leg isn't very active at all. And then we have a few breaths here, so you can either stay with the thread the needle, you just hold the leg. You can rock a couple of inches off towards the left, there's usually some pretty good stuff there. Or you can release the shin altogether and let your right foot fall all the way down and over towards the left side so that your right knee is pointing up towards the ceiling and the outer edge of your left hip is on the ground too. Right arm can reach up and overhead, or I like to cradle the skull with my right hand. And we'll just take a few breaths here. So you should feel this really dense unwinding through the outer edge of your right hip, maybe up into the lower back. Let your belly be soft, move your breath there. One more full breath in. And exhale, letting it go. Gently release the head. Gently call yourself back through to center. You can untangle the legs, give your knees a squeeze and rock side to side. And then placing your right foot down to the ground, cross your left ankle up and over. Feel this out for a few breaths so that you know that you're treating each side as its own. And if that's all checking out, then you can hold on to your right hamstring or the bat or the shin bone of your right leg. Curling your left toes towards the left kneecap so that there's like some activity through your left ankle. Relax. Really, really relax through the upper back. Drop the weight of your skull. And then again, you can stay or maybe rock a couple of inches over towards the right. If you have a little bit more space, you can release your shin altogether and let the sole of your left foot land down to the ground, knee pointing to the sky. You can outstretch your left arm or hold the head, whatever feels best. Still here with the rhythm of your breath. We'll take one more deep breath in. And exhale to let it go. And gently we will release. Coming back through to center, give your knees a squeeze. And then float your feet straight up towards the ceiling, float your fingertips up too, let your upper back go wide and your lower back go wide. Before we settle into too, too much stillness, we'll just give everything a little ring out. So shake your hands and shake your ankles. Slow at first and then pretty vigorously until you can feel a little jiggle through the rest of your body. Keep shaking, keep shaking. Let the ankles and the wrists be really loose now. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. 
So again, deep breath in, shake a little bit faster than you want to. And sigh your breath, go ha. Okay, pause with your fingers and your toes in the sky. That was weird, it's okay. And then we'll place the feet down to the ground. Let your knees extend and place your hands down onto your body, onto your belly, onto your ribs, or down by your sides. And we'll start to make our way into rest, into Shavasana, so let go of any control of your breathing. Let all of the efforts settle. Sink into slow, sweet, kind observation of your full experience, breath, body. Nothing left to do, simply be as you are. And sweet with a deep breath in. And let it go. And so this is where I'll close off today's practice. If you have time to linger, please do. Thank you as always for joining and moving and practicing. It's always such a pleasure. Namaste.